So Ben, we're looking at something a little bit different today. We're out with yourself at Wood Energy Wales in the Conway Valley. And it is an absolute animal of a machine behind you. Maybe just tell us a little bit about what it is. Right, well this is a Mustmax WT11 XLZ. It's the newest model that Mustmax have brought out. This machine is 12 months old. It's capable of doing between 240 and 280 cubic meters an hour. The mouth opening is 135 centimeters by 80 centimeters tall. So you can put an 80 centimeter diameter piece of timber in it. Which we have definitely seen today. At least, <laughs> if not a little bit more. Yeah, very good machine. 1050 on the front runs it exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And we'll say, just because obviously it's a tractor driven PTO machine, yep. what is the ideal power for something that big? You want 350 minimum, you can go up to 500 horse, you can go a bit more if you wanted. Mm -hmm. 450 horsepower average would be on top of the job. And that 1050 is definitely bossing it. Oh, yeah. it flies. <laughs> really well. So, I mean, Musmax, how long have they been around? How long have they been making wood chippers? They started producing wood chippers in the 90s, all the way up to the current day. They produce machines from a WT7, which is 640 mil diameter mouth size, all the way up to a 12, which is just slightly bigger than this machine. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest PTO machine in the world. And do they make any self-propelled ones? Yes, so they produce PTO machines for tractors, hack trucks which are lorry based chippers. The chipper is run off the lorry engine and you operate the chipper either out of a cabin crane or the back of the cab of the lorry. Mm -hmm. You can get a diesel driven option of a chipper which is run off a C18 cat engine, 800 horsepower. Any machine for any job they produce. Because we'd say this one here, she's quite high spec really. Yeah, she's very, very high spec. She's the latest contractor machine mm -hmm. in spec. And run me through it because how does she actually work? You've got the Epsilon crane on her, but from we'll say the mouth of the machine right through to the blower, what are the workings of the machine? Right, so you've got your in-feed conveyor that you pick your piece of timber up, put on, your top and bottom roller, control your timber, feeding into your drum. This is the latest drum that Mustmax have produced. Six blade, one chop per revolution. Your product then drops down through a screen, so you can put different size screens in for different size chip. Mm -hmm. So you can go from like a micro chip for pellets all the way up to your gasification chip the size of your fist. Then there's hydraulic augers running underneath the screens to push the wood chip out to the hydraulic blower. You can run your hydraulic blower anywhere between 500 RPM and 1100 RPM, depending on how far you want to blow it. If you want your chip smashing up a little bit more or you want to just paddle it out of the blower, it depends what you want to do and how you want to do it really. Because mm -hmm. what PTO rate is the tractor having to run on for that? The, P the PTO on the tractor is running 1000 RPM. It's got an inch and three quarter, 20 spline shaft out the back of the tractor running it. And that's all controlled from a box inside the cab? Yeah, so when you jump in your tractor cab, you put your PTO into gear, turn your Mossmax box on, unfold your spout, your mouth, your joysticks on your armrests run your crane, and you've got a screen there to operate your speed of your blower, the speed of your drum, the speed of your in-feed conveyor. You can control every, absolutely everything from the cab, basically. So you were saying earlier, obviously, this is very much a contractor's machine. I mean, what would they be used mainly for? Like you were saying, they create chips of all different sizes, like different pellets, and then a lot of it obviously goes to boilers. Yes. So Wood Energy Wales have got three CHP engines and a biomass boiler here. So they produce their own fuel with this wood chipper. They do a little bit of contracting. They then screen the chip. The fines of the chip go get sold for animal bedding and the best quality chip go in the CHP engines to make gas. The engines then put electricity up into the grid and the hot water off the engines is used to dry the wood chip. So it's all pretty much done in house? <laughs> yes. The, there's a lot of wood chippers in the UK. There's certain ones providing fuel for paper mills, for furnaces. There's other wood chippers running power stations. There's some customers that we've got, they produce wood chip for chicken pens, 
play pens, play areas. There's odd ones or two that produce wood chip for smoking, mm -hmm. but that's only a very small amount of wood chip needed. It's the different sizes of machines for different customers. This machine's predominantly for a contractor. A nice size machine for entry level would be a WT8. Mm -hmm. uh, WT8, WT9 are sort of your everyday run of the mill machine. There's a lot, a lot of that size machine in the country. They would be your bread and butter. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can run those on uh, a WT8. You can run as little as 180 horsepower all the way up to 250. Because how long have you worked alongside Musmax? Because you know the machines fairly well at this point. Yeah, well, I started working for a different company in 2010, pretty sure it was, 2010, 2011. Mm -hmm. And I started my own company up uh, three years ago. We got the sole UK agency for Musmax and a couple of other products. This Musmax machine, she's actually in a different livery than normal to keep up with the, the fence theme here. Yes. It's very much a Fent theme up at Wood Energy Wales. So if you ordered a new Mass Max machine today, you choose what colour you want. A standard machine is black and red. This machine is in Fent green and red. Obviously, I think that looks class, to be honest. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, <laughs> if you like Fent. <laughs> well, definitely. Obviously, you are a Mass Max specialist, but you do have agencies for other brands, which we are hoping to see in the future. Yes. So we're Sol UK agents for Mass Max wood chippers. Brantner Trailers, we're also agents for GEAL attachments, so they do cone splitters, tree shears, uh, tilt rotators and quick hitches for excavators. We do Herder Firm X stump grinders. I've got a, another company we started up in June last year, which we sell a lot of kiln dried firewood. Mm -hmm. As if you don't see enough wood as it is. Yeah, well, plenty of wood in <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but that's absolutely br brilliant, Ben. Thanks a million for having us out to see this awesome bit of kit. No problem. Thank um, you for coming. We hope to see a lot more of them. Yes, definitely. Perfect. Thank Thanks you. a million.